Welcome to the Dayton Business Spotlight, your source for what's now, what's new, and what's next in the Dayton business community. And now, here's your host, Bill Herzing. Thank you very much for joining us for another edition of the Dayton Business Spotlight. I'm Phil Herzing, your host, today joined by Kelly Kirsch, the Director of Marketing for LGT Material Technology. Hello, Kelly. Hi, Phil. How are you? Excellent. Thank you very much. Good. Now, please tell me something about your business. Specifically, why would somebody want to take something like this and turn it into something like this? Mm -hmm. It's pretty unappetizing looking, isn't it? I'm ready for lunch. Yes. Well, um, that's a very good question. Our business is actually nanocomposite materials. We are part of the third frontier in the state of Ohio where money was budgeted in the Taft administration to develop nanocomposites. That's anything that can be changed at the molecular level. So in this particular instance, this is shape memory elastomers. This is plastic. Mm -hmm. This comes from a rubber tree. We take this product based on customer specifications, we add composite material to it, put it in a roller. It's starting to look like beef jerky here, lunch. It is then tested for tensile strength, and then based on these properties, it can be used for any number of applications. Really? This particular composite material or this particular technology, the easiest way to describe it is rubber that remembers. How did you all get into this business? My partners are Chinese. My daughter is adopted from China. She's 11 years old now. We adopted her at 11 months. Mm -hmm. um, when we adopted her, I made a commitment culturally to teach her the language and culture. So I'm a student of Mandarin Chinese. Mm -hmm. And I got connected through this through friends of mine. The developer of this product is a in research and development at the University of Dayton Research Institute and we hold the intellectual property patent on this and they asked me if I would help them market the product on the American side. Well Kelly, this is very interesting. What areas uh, do you anticipate LGT material uh, technology moving into into the future? That's a very, very good question. This is plastic as I explained. Mm -hmm. This is plastic or rubber that remembers anything that uses plastic has an application with our product mm. yes right now our particular research is working with the oil and gas industry in the downhole applications it's called packer packer is if you can imagine a pencil mm -hmm. and then above and below the pencil there is a composite material such as this that's wrapped around the downhole drill mm -hmm. and what that does is it seals the drill so it, because when you go downhole you run into shale, rock, mm -hmm. fossils, mm -hmm. Jimmy Hoffa's probably down there buried <laughs> and what we want to do is bring up clean oil. Packer traditionally has been made with or um, altered by oil or gas swellable packer. Our packer material is temperature based and that's the secret. What do you think about Dayton's reputation as a city of innovators. Do you think that that is a deserved reputation? Absolutely. You can start with the usual suspects, Charles Kettering, Ermel Fraze, the Wright brothers, and that's what everybody traditionally thinks of. But more importantly are the people now who are developing extraordinary things here at the Entrepreneurial Center. Um, I speak of that because we're here. There are a number of different and exciting products that are coming out of here that have enjoyed tremendous support through this third frontier. And I think you're going to be hearing a lot more about people other than the Wright brothers in the future. We are a city of innovators and we will reinvent ourselves. Absolutely. Now, what is the best thing about doing business in Dayton? You're a business person. Tell us about doing business. Dayton, Ohio. You know, Phil, that's funny. I, I think you said it best. I'm going to steal a line from you. Um, when we talked about doing this, um, you said something very interesting to me that actually summarized things very beautifully. Dayton, Ohio is this kind of city with the sort of people, aside from the regional support, the government support that we have truly enjoyed. Um, 
Dayton is the kind of place that you could give your wallet to somebody standing on the river while you jumped in to save a drowning child. And when you pulled the child back out, the guy would still be standing there with your wallet untouched. <laughs> and I thought that was the greatest description of all because that's truly what makes this area wonderful are its people. people. Are its people. We are kind, we are generous, we are open, um, we are innovative, we are open to new ideas. My partners are Chinese, there are Indian people in this building, there are African American people in this building. Um, everybody creating, everybody innovating, and I think that's what makes this town special. And it truly is an exciting place to be. It really, really is. I agree with you. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for joining us, Kelly. And thank you for checking out another edition of the Dayton Business Spotlight. Please watch some of our other videos for excellent stories from other Dayton businesses. <laughs>